What's up gang? In this video we're going to follow me through my 10 day fast, talk about the issues I had before the fast, how I felt during the fast, and then go over the results, good, bad, and ugly, of this 10 day water fast. So, why a 10 day fast to improve gut health? In studies of patients with IBS, 7 out of 10 symptoms were improved with fasting. That's huge and that's why I'm doing this. The extended period without food will cause bad bacteria and fungi like candida to die off in theory. Obviously some good ones will die off too, so be mindful of what you ingest when ending the fast. Fasting for three days has been shown to reset the immune system. It's been shown to reduce inflammation, blood pressure, and cholesterol, none of which I particularly care about. It also increases insulin sensitivity, appetite control, metabolic rate, and fat oxidation. Again, none of which I particularly care about. It greatly reduces symptoms of anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues, which are again irrelevant to me, but while also improving mood, focus, motivation, and sleep. Sure, why not? I'll take those. One of the main benefits though shown in studies is improved cellular autophagy. This is where your body, when in a fasted state, starts looking for waste and damaged cells to clean up. There is no better anti-aging serum than your body's own cleaning mechanisms. And it only kicks into high gear in a fasted state. Finally, why 10 days and not any other length of time? Well, I've done four days before already, and 10 days just seems to be the popular thing to do. All the kids are doing it, so YOLO. Plus, with how things were working with my gut, I was really ready to try anything. At one point, my gut was so sensitive that a single junior mint was able to set me off, send me straight to the bathroom for diarrhea within about 10 seconds. The most common retort I hear though is, but isn't it unhealthy? Isn't it unnatural? Uh, no. Eating three square meals a day for the rest of your life every single day is unnatural. Fasting is natural and we were always designed to handle it. The body has specific systems in place to handle long periods without food. A guy did it for an entire year and had exactly no health issues, so you should be okay with a few days. So pre-fast I was having symptoms like uh, dandruff, skin issues, uh, knee pain, a lot of diarrhea, going to the bathroom after every single meal, a lot of mucus in my stool, gas bloating, chronically itchy inner ear, and loose pale stool. So what did I consume during my water fast? Well, water, lemon juice, cream of tartare for potassium, pink Himalayan salt, quarter to a half teaspoon of Truvia for sweetener, a little bit of black coffee. Last couple days I tried a couple teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, even though it technically has some calories. Uh, gave me instant diarrhea, and I think it still does, even when I'm not fasting. Terrible stuff, don't ever have it. Without further ado, here's what happened. Well, that does it. This morning I had a normal breakfast sandwich I made myself, sourdough bread, low in gluten, a lactose free cheese, lactose free butter, spinach, chicken, bacon, and two eggs on this sandwich. Delicious sandwich. Terrible diarrhea for two hours after, and terrible pain. So at this point it really just seems like it's not that it's certain foods that are triggering me, it seems like all food is triggering me. Food is the problem, no food is the solution. I'm gonna go on a 10 day fast after this weekend and then load up with some prebiotics and probiotics, hopefully restore some function here. In the meantime, it's a long weekend still, so I'm gonna be consuming nothing but, get the fast Nothing but steak, rice, and booze for the next three days, then it's fasting time. Wish me luck. Well, this is the last night before my fast. My last meal was supposed to be the only fat and protein based. I had a bowl of chili with rice. I just couldn't waste the rice. So now I'm gonna be extra hungry for the next couple days. Awesome. Day one of the fast, let's check out the weight. Sipping on some water, got a little lamb. And end of day one, 24 hours. Hungry. I'm starting to feel uh, that kind of anxiety and anger, hangry really, when you're not getting food in you, and I feel like that's gonna keep up all week. When I'm busy, if I, you know, if I got meeting after client, after work, and I don't get that meal or that snack to look forward to, I'm gonna be pissed. I've already uh, <clears throat> noticed my thinking, being all whack. Screwed up my whole, my, <laughs> screwed up my words uh, and grammar a bunch of times today at work. Let's hope that gets better once ketosis sets in. Just finished uh, day two of the fast, worked all day, uh, did a Orange Theory Fitness workout, 
definitely noticed a lack of uh, endurance there. I was, my power was okay, but only for so long, and then it just died pretty quick. Spirits are much better. Didn't get great sleep. First half of the day sucked, but um, I'm feeling better. I definitely feel like I'm probably in ketosis now. But the sluggishness that I felt for the past day and a half, not there anymore. My mental clarity is uh, definitely better than it was. And the hunger has definitely died down. That's the most important part. It's still there. I still think of food every, I think I've eaten every time I see food. Food. Morning of day three, seven hours sleep. Did not feel like nearly enough. Feel pretty sluggish. Gotta go to work for about four hours and then a workout after that. Let's see how uh, clear headed I remain today. Over and out. All right, day four, Saturday. It's like 7 a.m. right now because I had to take somebody's shift at work. Feel pretty good. Yesterday, went to the gym for the first time with uh, my Airbnb roommates. Did pretty good, lifted a couple plates on uh, squat. Almost two plates on bench. A couple hundred pounds on uh, chin-ups. Could definitely feel uh, a little more exhausted than normal uh, by the end of it, so I didn't really have any energy for conditioning. But I got through uh, the big lifts, which is encouraging. So last night for the first time, I went to a bar, met some friends. Uh, completely sober. That was weird. Most people weren't too drunk, but there was a couple hammered people. That was interesting being completely sober there. So that's probably the first time I've ever really done that. Just not even one beer. But feel good today. So I have energy to continue my weekend, which doesn't always happen. The weird thing is, my head, while I was tired, my head was clear. Way too clear for my normal life. Way more clear than I would normally be with a few hours sleep. Normally if I, you know, I eat late, and then if I wake up early, don't get enough sleep, don't get like eight, nine hours, I get real foggy. Um, and I just feel like hung over and trashy. Not so with fasting, I'm heading to work now, and then it's uh, beach day the rest of the day, and partying somehow without booze. One more thing that's been a little curious is I've been farting. No smell to the gas, but just, just curious. All I've been consuming is water, salt, and a slight bit of lemon juice, so that's a strange one. Midway through day four, time for a weigh-in. Big rock stars are living hilltop bosses driving 15 cars. The girls come easy and the drugs come cheap. Well, I'll stay skinny as we just won't eat it. Well, yeah, that's like nine pounds in four days. Toasty! Sunday, day five. Uh, tried to go drinking last night. Or not go drinking, tried to go out with friends who were drinking. Uh, they were way too hammered. I was way too sober and tired. Uh, real sluggish today though, no energy, zero. Now I'm wearing a big, loose fitting shirt. It looks terrible on it. Day five, I slept five to six hours. Took my own blood pressure. It was roughly 130 over 80. Heart rate was fast and it's remained fast the entire time. Day six. A low energy. Look at my cheeks and my face. So skinny. All right, let's check out the scale. That's 13 pounds down. Six days. Day six started very sluggish and very weak. Again, probably from that uh, heavy lifting workout I did. Big mistake. My body had no resources to rebuild the muscle that I broke down during the workout. No carbs and protein, so. I don't know what I was thinking, doing a heavy strength workout. Dumb. Once I did go to work though, energy came back and it held me over for a good six hours. Then I got extremely tired again. Also end of day six, small amount of diarrhea appeared. That was fun. Frank, guess what? Hey. I just pooped. Good. Day seven though, isn't that weird? Like what, what, what did I have in my body to poop? Nothing. Bacteria. Yeah, could be. End of day seven, I had extremely poor energy again. I felt real sluggish today uh, earlier. Tried to take a nap, the nap kind of failed. Then I loaded up on uh, green tea and uh, coming to Orange Street Fitness. I had the energy, came back. Uh, I'm definitely gonna need more sleep though tonight. Uh, sleep seems to be what I, the main thing that I'm missing. I feel I feel like this hunger and stuff is not that bad to get through. It's the extreme like sluggishness and, and, and 
not being able to barely move. Uh, that's the main issue. So really got to try to go to bed early, I think, today. And hopefully feel better tomorrow. Not so goddamn sleepy. Midnight, uh, heading into day eight. Just wanted to talk about the fact that uh, during these eight days, for most of it, uh, I haven't really felt like a person. Uh, I don't feel like I can go out and enjoy myself with friends. Uh, my energy's so low. I just I feel like a sh I'm a shell, basically. I'm going to work, putting on the face, doing what I need to do. Low energy. Uh, I can't wait till this is over. And I hope to God I get some of these actual benefits in terms of IBS symptoms and overall health. Peace out. Hopefully I get a good sleep tonight. Woke up day eight. I am now down 15 pounds. And I got about one, one hour sleep last night. Now I'm off to the doctor to see if I can get a ass, stomach acid test done. Just got barely enough energy to go to work with uh, two green teas. And I think this is the point where I decide that uh, I'm not gonna go the full 10 days. I wanna do nine days instead because I wanted to use the Friday to start eating again in order to feel better for the weekend. I didn't wanna lose the entire weekend because of the fast. Day nine, good sleep finally. Felt deep, like I got some REM sleep, but still fairly short, about only six to seven hours. Even with that, still sluggish and weak. Okay, so to end my fast, my first meal is gonna be a vegetable smoothie. I got the recipe online. I'm gonna have lots of prebiotic foods, a bunch of veggies. Then I'm gonna take some 10 billion probiotics. This should be the easiest uh, on my gut to digest because it's all gonna be blended up. Finally, we're gonna add in Jerusalem artichoke root in powdered form. That's a big prebiotic food to help feed those probiotics. All right, first food in nine days. That's pretty good. That's really good. Hopefully my gut takes to it. Hopefully there's no reaction. 1.35 in the morning. Just got back from the bathroom. Explosive diarrhea from that uh, smoothie an hour later. As soon as I, I, I drank the whole thing, I had lots of uh, discomfort in my abdomen. So I should have known it was coming. Well, well, I guess that was a fail. So post fast, here's what happened. After that initial veggie shake and the diarrhea soon after, uh, I didn't poop again for two days. And when I did, they were solid. But day one, the Friday, my appetite was still low. I still felt weak and sluggish and my stomach was still shrunk. Day 10, first day eating. Let's see what the scale says. Up four pounds, one day. Day two, I was starting to feel a little bit like myself again. I ate four big meals, including four steaks and over a cup of rice. Tried some vodka, tasted awful. Had some beer, which I shouldn't have, and it made me feel terrible as well. Who stayed fairly okay. So far, no diarrhea and loose stools. Still not perfect. However, gas was way up at this point. However, after day two and three, I was cramming so much food into my gourd that I'm not really surprised this gas and bloating. The mucus in my stool remained intermittently, uh, even during the fast, which was weird. I'm still calling this a win though, because one of my main complaints is fixed. Gas and bloating are closely linked with certain foods, so that I feel like I can easily get a hold of. Once I narrow my diet down to only healthy foods and easily digestible foods, and stop overeating. One really cool thing to note is that most of the time, I felt like I was on MDMA. Very chill, very personable, more satisfied with face-to-face -face connections, felt more connected to people. I also had the faster heart rate and the uh, sleeping problems. So maybe I was just on Molly the whole time, I didn't know it. Apparently though, this is a common symptom. And I think it's partially why cultures around the world uh, have periods of fasting. The other major benefit I want to talk about here is productivity. Out of everything that happened, the thing that made the biggest difference was how productive I was able to be without eating. So here's a list of shit I got done that I would not have gotten done without the fasting period. Number one, made a video on fasting benefits. Donated a giant bag of good quality clothing. Went through my closet and threw out a bunch of clothes that were no good for anybody anymore. Went and bought an Amazon Prime membership. Because I was thinking about food the whole time, I decided to be productive with it and went to the grocery store a few times and bought probably $250 worth of uh, meat, nuts, 
fish, and ingredients to cook my favorite dishes with. So potato pancakes with vice first, beef chili, chicken curry, arroz con pollo, beef stroganoff. I roasted and salted about $50 worth of uh, macadamia nuts, pecans, and walnut. Finally replaced my old Galaxy S6 with a weak battery with a free S9 worth $1,000 from Rogers and got a dope new Spy Gen uh, case as well. Bought a whole new set of clothing since I haven't bought anything new in like three years from places like Winners, H&M, and then some Serengeti tees and a couple pairs of Saks underwear. Great buys. Then I went and bought a bunch of shit that I need. Bath mats, bed sheets, sleep mask, shower caddy, a watch, food scale, chef's knife, two new pairs of shoes, two cooking pans that were on super sale at Canadian Tire. I sold $480 worth of unused electronics on Kijiji. Put my car up for sale because I've disliked it ever since I bought it. Visited my GP to do tests for things like inflammation, lactose intolerance, fat malabsorption. And by the way, the results I've seen so far indicate that I'm slightly anemic despite very high iron levels and that I may have low functioning pancreas and gallbladder or gallstones, which would likely explain some of my issue. I've also got a blastocystis hominis infection, which is a nasty but common bacterial infection. Uh, that can cause bloating, diarrhea, and gas. Well, what do you know, that's what I got. One more big thing to point out though, because I don't want you to get it twisted, is that because of the lack of sleep, while I was very productive at completing lots of small and simple tasks, I had zero ability to do anything that required thinking, planning, creativity, or anything that required a good amount of mental work. Day four and five, I got back up to 150 pounds. I was eating a lot at this point, but I'm attributing my difficulty getting back up to my original weight to probably a little bit of muscle loss during the fast. The skin issues remain improved, except after two heavy nights in a row of drinking, they came back briefly. A scar on my back basically vanished. The knee pain that I've been having for the past nine months and took me out of squatting the, the whole time is gone, disappeared. Dandruff gone I haven't found it back yet even after drinking and my chronic inner ear itchiness is gone as well and I'm generally less reactive to food I'm noticing that I can have a little bit of garlic and onion some high fiber foods and I'm not instantly reacting and having to run to the toilet like I used to in the weeks following my fast some magic mushrooms helped me understand that my relationship with food after the fast had become unhealthy, which it was. I was eating anything and everything in sight, even developed a sweet tooth, which I normally do not have. So my eating habits of large, complicated meals, five, six times a day, uh, taking up all my time, is unsustainable, and the magic mushrooms helped point that out to me. So moving forward, what I'm gonna do is implement a kind of intermittent fasting plan where I'm eating for only eight to nine hours during the day, cram all my food into that, skip breakfast and not eat after 10 p.m. like I normally do and hopefully that should give my body a break and make me feel a little better. I'm up to 155 pounds now. The goal by the end of the year is still 175 pounds, although I realize this intermittent fasting and my weight goals seem contraindicated. Toasty! YOLO! A new diet moving forward is going to be a modified version of Stan Efferding's vertical diet. So that means I'm taking out pretty much everything except for white rice, butter, potatoes, extra virgin olive oil, steak, dark burnt meats, wild salmon, and bacon. Would I do it again? Yes, but probably not for the full 9 or 10 days. I'd probably only do it for 3 to 5 days and find a better way to sleep. The gut, skin, and productivity improvements alone are enough to warrant me doing this uh, a few times throughout the year. Next time though, no lemon, because that was bad for the teeth, and apple cider vinegar. I know a lot of you guys watching this are gonna be more interested in the weight loss benefits. For me though, I was not doing this for the weight loss. I want to gain about 25 pounds, not lose any weight. But in order to see the benefits, I had to lose the weight. So in nine days, I lost about 17 and a half pounds. I do have a fast metabolism though, so that might explain some of it. After only four or five days, instead of my stomach sticking out like it normally does, it went completely flat and my waist was tiny. So if that's something you're looking for, then fasting might be for you. All right guys, that's it. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see you soon. Like and subscribe, you bums.